this is Pimentalord with a tutorial about XYZ coordinates in Space Invaders for all your worlds. Let's make a new custom world. Creative, no survivor, unlimited world size. Let's load up. This should take only a few seconds, maybe more than a few seconds. You need to make a few things in order for this to work. Let's get a beacon, new station block, and another station block reactors on top of them and three beacons rename the reactors which reactor Beacon set that to infinite range. The wire after and Y beacon infinite. Uh, this is all you have to do in one custom creative world. Save up and let's go to Notepad. Go to this computer, open up your Windows Drive, Users folder, your computer name, App Data, Roaming, Space Engineers, Saves. And this should be your world you just created. If you don't see the app data, go back to users folder. Properties on your computer name, then uncheck this hidden box, apply, and that should open up the app data. If that didn't open the app data, just type in this. And you will go to your app data space engineers folder. Space engineers saves XYZ map. And you have to open your sandbox with all the zeros. I use no pad plus plus. Syntax XML because it says that for some reason in the space engineers sandbox folder find x reactor type in x reactor and there you go your x reactor with is the small generator the station block and the beacon now scroll up a little bit Coordinates 50,000 meters zero and zero because this is the X reactor. Scroll up, the I reactor should be here. Zero 50,000 meters zero. Because this is the I reactor. Scroll up some more and you should find the Z reactor. Zero. 
end of course because this is the sea reactor 50,000 meters save up and go back to your game open up your world again and once you're in your map again you shouldn't see the XYZ coordinates in front of you like you can see here but they are teleported way back like 50,000 meters like I said you almost start exactly in the middle of a circle uh, a globe if you will so you can navigate your coordinates by calling out all three coordinates so the exact coordinates of my position now I'm standing here so there's y 49993 z 49987 and x50020 and if you tell those three coordinates to someone they will find you exactly at this spot where I'm standing right now now let's get these things to work inside other worlds shall we new world custom world random Surfer world. Put it in survival. Check unlimited. Now you have to do things a little different because you have to put uh, uranium in them. Oh wow, there is a meteor or asteroid in front of the sun so there is no light but as you can see only the platform beacon is here no other beacon save up and let's go to notepad again go back to your saves folder again open up random server open up the sandbox syntax xml and to verify this, find the fix reactor and it can find it. Now open up the other sandbox again with your XYZ reactors and copy from my object builder entity base. Scroll down until the X reactor and all the way down to my object builder entity base copy it and then scroll all the way down in your random map and scroll up a little my object base builder and paste it between those two save now scroll up again, find reactor and it should jump to the reactor that is on your base you just created with the survival mode like you can see 0 0.4 almost R uranium inside it. find X reactor again um, that was the path okay let's scroll back up again find reactor this is the reactor on the main base when you create the new world copy the inventory part like that with the uranium inside and find X reactor again and go to the inventory replace that with the other information put a number 
inside it then copy it again and scroll up go to the wire reactor inventory and uh, Z reactor inventory save up and go back into game load up your world again run on server map and they should be appearing like that XYZ coordinates and if they disappear from your map just edit the full of add the file again and put some more uranium in it like I did this is experimental load I hope this was helpful for getting XYZ coordinates in your server maps or worlds to tell each other the XYZ coordinates and find each other well this was it and I'm gone